statement happened alongside Billy Harmon and the said FedEx Cup champion here in Studio A. We're excited to have him back. Last time I got some bunker lessons, I got some putting lessons. Now we're going to tell him about, about accuracy, Billy. And you've been marveling at, at some of the things he does uh, with his right shoulder in particular. Well, you know, I had a great conversation with his coach of 12 years, Peter Cowan, at the PJ at Oak Hill this year. And I'm not too sure there's anybody in the game of golf that, that studied the swing and knows more about this swing than uh, Peter does. Sorry, Butch, but I think Peter maybe has studied it more than you. <laughs> At least on this segment he has. And he mentioned some things about how he felt that the swing was controlled in his mind by the right shoulder. And I've noticed when I've watched you play here in the last five or six months, you seem to have a direct route right down to the back of the ball from the top of your swing. And so many people talk about the lower body and the hips and everything. And I was fascinated by Peter's thoughts about the upper body and the right shoulder. Can you share some of that stuff with us, Henrik, that he works on yeah, with think, you? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, a, a key thing for me has been uh, if I'm trying to make out power too much, I start shifting my body instead of getting the force down in, in, into my legs and into the ground because that's going to be a, a stable a stable part of it. So I think really uh, you load the shoulder in the backswing and then that pressure's back down and that puts all the all the pressure down into your legs and, and stabilize it. So you feel a downward motion with the right shoulder on the downswing? Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's staying here, going up in, into position. Now I'm in a, in a position here where if this is my club face, I can go straight back uh, to the back of the ball like we're talking mm -hmm. about. And I notice when you do that, you don't move your legs or fire your hips real quickly. There's a sequence there that you work on. That yeah, and I think everything that's, that's been part of my, pro yeah. my issues before, that if that sequence gets you know, in the, in the wrong way, then, yeah, it's, it's going to be hard to do these uh, mm -hmm. things consistently. So, you know, from if you if you coil your body up to, to the top of the backswing and then it presses down, you, you, you fire your legs, your glutes, and you're holding, you're holding the ground, and then through the ball, the hip's gonna gonna move almost as a consequence. And you have a unique follow through, and where it's uh, maybe not doesn't wrap around your neck, but it, that kind of goes in sequence of what you're talking about. If your body isn't way out in front of your arms in the club, and they work through the ball more together, that you don't have to have all that stuff going on. At no, the and then I think point. it's uh, I just got a little bit of a, of a personal twist to it as well. Yeah, know? I like that. It, it, it's probably not textbook, you know, but it's it's, it's something I've always done, and and. Uh, what, David, you want me to? Yeah, he wants you to get one here. Yeah. yeah, first swing of the day with a four. Six, seven o'clock in the morning, straight out of bed, four iron in jeans. Here we go. All right. Watch that shoulder. All the cords are ripped out. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Not yet. Now, have you and Peter worked on this move with the right shoulder in the last dozen years, or, or is this something he's come to, let's say, recently, and it just kind of clicked with you? No, I think it's 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 been in there, but then you know, certain times it, it kind of works better than others, and and uh, yeah, understanding is is one big part of it as well. But it's you know, to, to simplify, it's uh, sorry, Pete, for giving all the secrets away here. No, but it's, it'd be more it'd be more moving moving the muscles rather than moving the skeleton mm -hmm. and having the sure. muscles move the skeleton than the other way around because if we're trying to move I mean that, that's going to be all over the place so it's and and to hitting uh, hitting the the proper shots you're better off with with pressure than than with speed really combination is obviously nice but is there something that uh, you do with the shoulder that the folks at home can do uh, something that they can focus on that would be simple though. obviously we can't generate the club head speed that you do the precision <clears throat> that we'd love to have no, most you, of us you, don't you have to be strong to do that you well i'm that. strong i'm strong <laughs> i had my weedies this morning i think a good a good drill would just be to get into into setup position and get your your hands in, in this position here, and then when you swing when you swing back up, you can almost feel like the pressure is going down into your legs, and then push it back down underneath your underneath mm. your body because this is where you want to be at impact. Like you don't want to be here, you don't want to be. So you gotta you gotta get it down underneath your your, your center. <laughs> there. All right, right. David, we like a shot. Yeah. How much time does it take for you to do? A swing change for the folks at home that are trying to get better. You had the same coach for, for for more than a decade now. How patient do you have to be to be great? I think patience is uh, is a big part of you know your planning and and your practice and everything. I mean it's and and playing golf as well. You know, stay patient out there. It might take 13 holes before you make a birdie. Uh, some rounds you don't make one, but. Uh, 
you know, you never know. You might make five in a row at the end of the round, and if you're not staying patient, you, you're probably not going to be there to, to make them. So patience is key, and, and uh, I think working on your swing is, is an area. I mean, you're never going to get finished. You're not getting finished with anything in golf, really. It's, it's a constant work, and, and um, yeah, you just got to... You gotta hang in there. You gotta 